Welcome to the video on creating a time off request. Time off requests are often referred to as TORs. In this video, you will learn how to check your accrual balance, submit a time off request, retract a time off request, and see notifications on the status of your time off request. I have logged into Kronos, and because I'm a manager, this is the screen that I see. I need to get to the employee screen to create a TOR. I do this by selecting the employee workspace over here on the top right. This brings me to the employee screen where I can see my schedule, accruals, and calendar. Please note, I cannot put in for time off that I have not earned by the leave date. To create a time off request, I click on the little wheel on the calendar. Then I click pop out and this will bring me to the current week. I can move to future dates from this screen to select the right day or week. I can view leave that has already been submitted and approved in green. I click on the Request Time Off button and the screen comes up where I submit my leave. I can see my accruals to ensure I have the hours available for my leave. I choose the type, select Schedule if you plan to take off a full day, otherwise use Hours. Next, I check to make sure I have the right start and end dates and change it if it's not correct. Then I choose the pay code, and as you can see, there are all types of pay codes available. I'll be selecting sick leave, and then I put in the time I will be leaving work and how long I will be gone. I can also add a note. Then I click on Submit, and the request is sent to my supervisor. It is important that employees submit leave requests as soon as the need for leave is known. If you are sick and cannot submit a request from home, call your supervisor and they can submit your leave on your behalf. After I submit my time off request, I can see that it's been added to Tuesday, my day off. If I make a mistake, I can retract the leave request before it is approved by my supervisor. I like to check the details here so I'm sure I have all the details correct. If I made an error on this request, I could retract the request here and create a corrected request. After I submit my request, I will be notified by email that Cro the Kronos system has my request. The notice will look like this. You will get a new request if any changes to the request are made by your supervisor. For example, you will get a notice when your supervisor approves your request. And that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have found it helpful.